Okay, so welcome to the Badger Herald's tutorial video for how to use Cover It Live. If you want to see this in the best way possible, I recommend watching this YouTube video in high def and full screening it. Uh, that way you'll be able to see some of the smaller letter letters. It'll look like it's right on your screen. Uh, this is Ryan, by the way, so if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, I'm at the multimedia address, multimedia at badgerherald.com. So what we're going to do is put in our username and password. Um, our password that we're going to be using is a standard Herald password, and you're going to be signing in with the multimedia at badgerherald.com address. Or actually, no, the username will be Badger Herald News. So this will be for the news staff. Then you can sign in doing that. So you got the uh, Cover It Live meeting here, and you can see um, how many readers you've had on previous, on previous things, uh, stuff like that. What you're going to want to do is add a new one, and you can just keep it with the standard. Uh, the one that we're, I'm setting up for today is the student council meeting um, for the 28th of September, 2011. And then it's going to be at badgerherald.com. So then what you can do is just mark the category as news. And then you're going to want to have a start time. So student council today starts at 6 p.m. Um, and that will be central time. So then you'll have this. And this is your Cover It Live HTML code. What you're going to want to do is copy and paste this. So you can see I can select all, copy. And then you're going to want to go into movable type. So measurehill.com slash post. a little while and then for news you're going to add a new entry so here's my new entry what you're gonna want to do is unless you have some little blurb that you need to use to tease what you're doing um, you can just paste it in and preview it to see what it will look like and then you're probably going to want to save the changes after that. So you can see that this is what it'll look like uh, when the reader is actually viewing it. Um, they can set reminders for themselves, or they can also um, just wait until the 6 p.m. start time, and that's when you'll be able to start blogging. Now, when you actually want to start blogging, um, you're going to go to what's actually live, and you'll see that there's an event that's live right here. So I'll change the time of this to 5 o'clock. And then you can see that you can just launch it. And then this new web app comes up that you can use. So yes, you want to start this live thing. And you can see that the event is now live. All you're going to do is just type in whichever content you need to type in. And then you can send it. And then it'll make that little clicking noise. And then you can also do a little quick poll. So who will in 2013 and then you just add a little answers in there like that etc 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 and then you can just publish that other things you can do is get reader stats so if you're interested in seeing how many readers you have obviously I just started this so we have no readers um, or you can put in a little go right back sign and it'll go on standby for five minutes and that will notify your readers about that so when you're done oh one more thing um, you're probably, at, especially at student council meetings, you're going to want to enter Twitter feeds. So you can just, um, you can either launch a webcam or you can just add Twitter handles or hashtags. So what I do for ASM meetings usually is I just say ASM and you can add little hashtags too, or I'm sorry, usernames as well. And all of those tweets will pull into this and you can just delete them to that so um, all, all the tweets will be pulled into this main um, this main content area right here if you have any breaking news you need to report you can just add a news flash or if you're doing sports um, sports already knows how to do this for the most part you can just add a scoreboard so if you have any questions once again go ahead and give me a call or 
just let me know um, what you need to do. You also are probably going to want to change the username in here every once in a while. But aside from that, uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your blogging.